and welcome back to my channel. So it is that time again, friends. It is time for a Square Hue unboxing. We are dealing with the Decades collection this year, so each month has been a different decade, and this month, my friends, we are nearing the end of the Decades collection. If you have mixed feelings, I'm a little nervous, I'm a little scared, but also really excited because I wanna see what's in this box. This month we are dealing with the 2000s, so the millennium, very exciting. I don't think I'm actually gonna do my normal, like, this, these are exciting events that happened in 2000, just because, I don't know, I, I'm not feeling it, honestly. I'm not feeling it, so I don't wanna be like that teacher that's like, and then in 2005 there was, the cause that's just boring. Nobody wants to listen to that. To be perfectly honest with you, I just wanna see what's inside this box. Thank you again to Square Hue for providing this month's box for free, and let's just rip this baby open, cause I am dying to know what's inside. Um. Okay, I've done this like a million times. Why all of a sudden am I like, I am thoroughly confused. How do I open this? Slicing. Slicing. All right, here we go. Okay. I don't know. I'm excited. I'm a little nervous. Here we go. Can you see it? Can you see it? Here we go. What? Okay, we've got a card as usual. We're gonna move the card. Okay, first off, there's no little wormies. I don't know how I feel about that. And secondly, I think we have just a bunch of silvers. I mean, can you see that? There's like no color. I don't know how I feel about that. There's like no color. No, a little anticlimactic. I was really excited and this is just kind of meh. But those are first impressions, we'll see where it goes. Here is the card. So we have our decade, the 2000s, um, 1115, which is the month we're dealing with. We have our color swatch keeper over here so we can swatch your polishes. I'm really not excited about this, guys. Like, I am actually really disappointed by this. I'm gonna give it a fair try. Um, this one is called Never Forget. It is labeled as a silver metallic. Obviously, it is in reference to 9-11 um, that happened in 2001, and it's a silver foil. I'm really not excited about it. Um, I have a bajillion sil silver foils back there. I am excited to see Square Hue's take on a silver foil, though, um, just because they have really, they've had really good formulas up until this point, so I would be curious to see how their silver foil goes as far as, like, brush strokes and as far as, like, coverage and things like that. So, I mean, it's not all bad. I'm just not a huge silver foil fan. So I just swatched Never Forget. Um, I got an opaque in one coat, which to me indicates that this is going to be a pretty good polish to stamp with, so a little excited about that because really, really thick, super, super opaque. Um, lots of brush strokes though, un unfortunately. You really have to be careful, at least I had to be careful with brush strokes because it does get very, very streaky, but I feel like that just comes to the territory with the silver foil, like with the silver metallic, you just, sometimes you have to deal with brush strokes. Really opaque, I'm kind of excited to stamp with this one, so I guess I like it a little bit more. The next one that we see here in the middle is very sparkly, um, but again, kind of a letdown. This is called Idol, circa 2002, so this is obviously in reference to American Idol, um, labeled as a micro glitter, and it's a straight up small, very finely milled silver glitter in a clear base. I will say that this one is actually quite nice because it is a finely milled silver glitter, which I actually don't have. So this is interesting, but I do feel like this is very, very generic. You can find this anywhere in the drugstore. I don't really think um, it's that, like, out there, nor is it, like, really pushing any kind of boundaries or anything like that. In the bottle, it doesn't seem that awesome. It just seems like a metallic you know, glitter polish, pretty average, run in the mill, nothing to write home about. But then I swatched it and it's actually really nice. Really good glitter payoff with just a couple of strokes. Like I didn't have to do two coats on this thing. It's just one coat. I think this is gonna be awesome for Christmas. So I'm actually a little bit more excited about this one. And this last one that we see right here in the bottle, this is called Hurricane, circa 2005, so in reference to Hurricane Katrina, and it is um, labeled as a platinum metallic. It dries really pretty, and it's got like a lot of beautiful shimmer going on in there. It's a little bit sheer, so you have to do probably two coats to cover up that nail line or to get like full covered and get the bald spots. 
you do have a lot of brush stroke issues, which happens with metallic polishes. It's just the nature of the beast. But I'm just not a huge fan of the color. It's just kind of this black gunmetal gray. Kind of a letdown, not gonna lie. Um, these colors are very nice. I'm just disappointed that we have them all in one box. I do think that Square Hue is kind of doing something interesting here where we're going with a monochromatic palette, which is very, I think, fitting for the millennium. You know, it kind of makes sense. Okay, silver, got it. I just kind of wish there was a little bit more color in there, but that's for my personal opinion. My personal taste in nail polish is tons of color, tons of glitter. Let's be super bright and in your face. I am indifferent to this collection this month. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. Um, and I'm not like, obviously, you can tell I'm not as excited as I have been in the past with Square Hue. So I think it's just kind of like, Wah, wah. But that's okay. That's kind of the gamble you make with Square Hue. I think I'm just a little bit What just happened kind of reaction to this box I feel like I feel like in one word how I feel about this box Meh. Next month we are dealing with the uh, 2010s don't know what we're, what to expect I just hope there's more color, but then next year They have not made their announcement yet as to what next year will be pretty sure that we are going to be hearing about that pretty soon um, As they prepare for next year still do recommend square hue. It's a great great nail polish uh, Subscription service really affordable for $20 a month. You get three do you get three full-size bottles also, they do now have a second option for the subscription service where you can get two bottles instead of three. But I will have all the information for Square Hue linked down below if you want to check it out. All in all, not super in love with this month's box. It is what it is, but I am excited for next month and I cannot wait. That is my Square Hue unboxing for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure and subscribe to my channel if you are new, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!